everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this super easy one hour beanie. And uh, I have my sample one here for you. I'm just gonna pull back a little bit so you can see it better. This is a quick one sitting project. And uh, again, it's the one hour beanie. This beanie is worked from the bottom, the brim up through the top. I have put a pom-pom on the top of my beanie, but the pom-pom is optional. Now this is a slouchy fitting beanie. Uh, in the video, I will give you instructions on how to change the size and as well how to make it more snug fitting, should you prefer a more snug fitting hat. Now I mentioned we're going to be using a super bulky weight yarn, which is why this project goes so quickly. I'm going to be using a little bit of little bit of this umami yarn by hobby and i want to thank you so much uh, thank them so much for providing the yarn for this project so you're going to need about half a ball of your color b which today i'm using this gray uh, it's the number four there's about 90 yards per ball uh, in this and so I'm going to use a, about half of it for my color B and then my color A today I'm going to use this color number 11 which is kind of a deeper shade of blue uh, and you're going to need almost the entire ball especially if you're working uh, pom-pom in that color A. So uh, those are the two colors I'm using. I'm also using a 10 millimeter crochet hook and you'll also need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle for finishing off and then of course a pom-pom or pom-pom maker depending on your preference so thank you so much for joining me while you're here i invite you to subscribe take a look around i love crocheting beanies so there's lots of uh, free beanie crochet patterns as well as a number of other items uh, and there's also a free stitch tutorial that is updated weekly so uh, don't forget to subscribe As I mentioned, this beanie is worked from the bottom up and it is worked in rounds. So we're going to start by working a foundation chain, make your slip knot, and then you're going to make a foundation chain with a total of 40 chain stitches. If you would like to change the size of your beanie, you are welcome to use any multiple of stitches that you would like. This is a slouchy fitting beanie and uh, the size I'm working today will fit an adult. So go ahead and uh, chain 40 chain stitches. I have 15, 20, 30 and 40. Once you have your 40 chains worked without twisting your chain, so I find it helpful just to run my fingers down along the chain without twisting it, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. It's up to you where you like to join and work uh, into your foundation chain. I prefer to work into the back bumps of my stitches for this first round. Uh, so that's where I'm going to join. So join with a slip stitch and then chain one. Now for round one we're going to work herringbone half double crochet stitches in each stitch all the way around. To work the herringbone half double crochet you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch as joining for that first stitch yarn over and draw up a loop. Um, continue to pull that loop through the first loop that was on your hook, then yarn over and pull through the two loops that are left. You're going to repeat that all the way around in each stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, and draw that loop through the first loop that was on your hook yarn over and pull through two. Continue working your ha herringbone half double crochet stitches all the way around. Now when you come to your final stitch you will want to switch to your color B 
and uh, once I get there I will show you how I like to change colors in the middle of a project. Now at the end of round one I've come to my final stitch here and at the end of round one you'll want to switch to your color B. So you're going to do that by with your color A yarn over insert your hook into that final stitch yarn over draw a loop and draw that loop through the first that was on your hook. You'll have two loops left you're then going to simply drop your color A just let it fall down in behind you're going to pick it up later so I don't recommend fastening off just leave it hanging down below place your color B on your hook yarn over and pull through you can then tighten up uh, your loops there so that they're uh, not too too loose join then with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain one we're now ready to begin round two and when I start round two I'm just going to work over top of this little short tail of my color B that way I won't have to weave it in later on. For round two you're going to work a herringbone half double crochet stitch into that first stitch and then into each stitch all the way around. When you come to the end of your round two you're going to switch back to your color A, uh, join then with a slip stitch in the first stitch and chain one. At the end of round two, you're going to want to switch back to your color A. So here I have one stitch remaining, yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, and draw that loop through the first loop that was on your hook. You can drop your color B, pick up your color A that was just hanging in back, place it on your hook, and pull through. You can then join with a slip stitch in the top of that first stitch, Leave your color be attached because you're going to pick it up later and you're all set to go for round three. Chain one, work a half a herringbone half double crochet in that first stitch and then in each stitch all the way around. Now for um, the next part of the pattern you're actually just going to repeat rounds one and two um, four more times. So you're going to want to have a total of five stripes in your color A, five stripes in your color B. And this will give you bring you to the end of round 10. Uh, at the end of each round you're going to alternate between your two colors and uh, again for 10 more rounds. Now this beanie is fairly slouchy if you would like it so that it's not as slouchy, that it's more snug fitting, I recommend uh, only working seven to eight rounds uh, of herringbone stitches in order to give it a more snug feel. Otherwise, it is going to be uh, a little slouchy. So go ahead, work through to the end of round 10, repeating rounds one and two four more times and then meet me back here. So at the end of round 10 this is what your work looks like. You'll have five stripes of color A, five stripes of color B, and you'll have switched back to your color A. At this time we're going to start the decrease rounds of our hat. So we're going to start that shaping to go up to the top. You're working now in your color A. We're going to continue alternating colors through the top of our hat. What we're going to do is we're going to work a herringbone half double crochet stitch in each of the first six stitches.
Once you've worked a herringbone half double crochet in each of the first six stitches, you're going to work a herringbone half double crochet two together over the next two. So to work the herringbone half double crochet two together, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, and draw that loop through the first loop that was on your hook. Next, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, and again draw that loop through the first loop on your hook. You'll have two loops left, yarn over, and pull through two. That's your herringbone half double crochet two together. You're then going to repeat that, work a herringbone half double crochet in each of the next six stitches. and then a herringbone half double crochet two together. Repeat that all the way around, switching back to your color B in your first stitch, and then joining with a slip stitch into, or sorry, in your last stitch, and then joining with a slip stitch into your first stitch. So I'm just at the end of my round 11 and I wanted to show you how you're going to change colors in this herringbone half double crochet two together. So you're going to yarn over with your color A, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, drop a loop and draw it through that first loop on your hook, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, drop a loop and draw it through the next loop on your hook. Then you can drop your color A, pick up your color B, place it on your hook and pull through. Next, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. For your round 12, you're going to chain one, work a herringbone half double crochet in each of the first five stitches. and then a herringbone half double crochet two together. You're going to repeat that all the way around, herringbone half double crochet in each of the next five stitches. And then two together. Repeat it all the way around, uh, changing back to your color A in that last stitch and joining with a slip stitch into the top of your first. For round 13, chain one, work a herringbone half double crochet stitch in each of the first four stitches. and then a herringbone half double crochet two stitches together over the next two stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way around, work one herringbone half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. And then two together. And repeat. Switch to color B in your final stitch and join with a slip stitch into the top of the first. For round 14, you've chained one. You're going to work a herringbone half double crochet stitch in each of the next three stitches. And then a herringbone half double crochet two together. Repeat that all the way around, herringbone half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. And then two together. When you come all the way around, switch back to your color A in your final stitch and join with the slip stitch into the top of the first.
go around 15, you're going to work a herringbone half double crochet stitch in each of the next two stitches, followed by a herringbone half double crochet two together. Repeat that all the way around, herringbone half double crochet in each of the next two stitches, followed by a herringbone half double crochet two together. At the end of this round, switch back to your color B and join with a slip stitch in your first stitch. For round 16, chain one, work a herringbone half double crochet into that first stitch, and then a herringbone half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around, a herringbone half double crochet in the next stitch, followed by a herringbone half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around, and then uh, switch back to your color A in that final stitch and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. I'm just going to keep uh, working my way around here because this round is so short. To my final stitch. And then once you have switched back to your color A, you can fasten off that color B because you won't need it anymore. Join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. And then chain one, and we're going to work one final round 17, which is a herringbone half double crochet stitches two together. So you're going to continue to repeat that all the way around, two together, uh, all the way around the top of your hat. Once you come all the way around, you're not switching back to your color B or anything, you're simply going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. Then you can fasten off leaving a long tail. So fasten off, leaving a long tail. You're then going to want to use that tail to sew the top of your hat closed. So what I do is I just take my yarn needle, I'm going to turn my hat inside out. I still have my previous color B attached, but that's okay. I'm going to stick my yarn down through the center of my hat, turn my hat inside out, and then simply Working around the top stitches and your hat, weave in and out through the tops of those stitches. And then pull the top of the hat closed. If you feel like you need to, you can then work just a quick knot up at the top, it's up to you. Otherwise, you're going to weave in that end so that it doesn't come loose. You can then trim it off. Go ahead and weave in any other ends that might be showing there. I have my color B here. I'm just going to weave it through kind of tuck it in a little bit better. And then you can fasten off. As I mentioned, the beanie looks great without a pom-pom. If you prefer it that way, or if you would like, you can make one 
and attach it to the top. When I'm attaching my handmade yarn pom-poms, I like to attach it just through uh, and leave a little bow so that when I'm washing my hat, uh, I can remove the pom-pom before it goes into the wash and uh, just keep it a little bit longer. So that's uh, all there is to making this quick one hour beanie. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, if you happen to make this project, be sure to tag me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I love to see your finished crochet projects. So uh, once again, don't forget to subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you next time for another fun and uh, easy crochet project. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Thank you.